Hello, today we are going to draw an imaginary character. Uh, there are mythological creatures in old manuscripts and uh, fairy tale stories such as dragon, unicorn, griffin, etc. But we are going to create our very own uh, imaginary character by using our memories and also um, I have some um, images, printed images from Chester Beatty collection here. Uh, this one is from a Persian manuscript, Seamork, um, from uh, Book of Kings. Uh, this one is from a European Christian manuscript, uh, Thai manuscript, and also a demon from a Persian manuscript. So there are different ways to start creating a character. Um, today I'm going to use a very, very easy way everybody can follow. And the outcome is an absolutely non-realistic character. Um, um, so uh, as you see, I'm using my B4 pencil and I'm holding it like this very loosely and relaxed and not like when I'm going to write, it's totally different. So like this, and I'm going to draw a doodle. A doodle is taking a random line with no specific meaning and develop it into a picture. So I'm going to have two and decide which one I'm going to use. That's number one. That's number two. I do it a little bit smaller. I might need some space. So here are my random line drawings so i use number two as it's a bit smaller i have more space to work you can do as many as you want to and then you decide which one you are going to use so um i'm using my pen because i want you to be able to see my lines um, so i choose this part as head and i have my eraser handy beside me to remove any line I don't want to have and as you see I have a brush to clean my paper never use your fingers as your finger and uh, your skin has some oil and might uh, destroy your drawing so I decide this part to be the head of my creature mm, I like the horns here of this uh, demon I'm going to add uh, something like horn here as we say, it's totally imaginary and um, I even don't know what is it. It's a bird or oh, whatever. So I choose a part as its body, let's say here. I can keep working on details as much as I want to. I'm going to change the shape here. Uh, one of the artists you should have a look in art history is Hieronymus Bosch, the Dutch artist from 15th century. Uh, he has such an amazing artworks and paintings, uh, creating imaginative world, uh, lots of characters. So it's a good um, example um, to help you get some inspiration. So as I said, I can work on details as much as I want. I have my color pencil set here. Um, if I want to add some colors later by adding dots, patterns, um, I make my drawing more exciting um, and even more non-realistic and unique. It's totally up to you. So as you see, I can keep working on it for as long as I want to. I add a wing here and another one here. So that's it for today. I can keep working on it for hours. Um, I leave you to create your own uh, imaginary creature and I hope you enjoy it.